Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Hold on, let me um just do this. Okay. Oh, it's comfortable. All right, let me just make sure that the audio is right on the stream. <laughs> you cannot call in to join your own stream. Okay, we're good to go. Hello, people. Welcome back to the Silent Hill 3 stream or playthrough. I'm your host, Chad Marco. So... Uh, full transparency, I haven't played this in like a few weeks. Um, I've been playing Shin Megami Tensei somewhat obsessively. Well, I, I don't even say obsessively, but I've been playing it more than this. But October is coming up, and we're back into the month of um, I, well, October and Halloween. So you know what that means, horror movies, uh, scary games, and whatnot. So we're going to get back into the horror. So... Last time we were at the hospital, man, the, the bad thing is I got to remember what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> I should not have taken such a long break, admittedly. Um, not the wisest decision, particularly, uh, yeah, because of playing on hard. So I got to like re-familiarize myself with this shit. Okay, so how do I play again? Okay, so I remember that. Yeah, let's take like a few minutes to just re-familiarize ourselves with the game. So we know what the save thing is there. Okay. Good variety. Locker. Okay, so we know that. And there's a block button, right? The block button is X. Okay. And B is the flashlight. What is Y? Uh, Y is the map. Okay, Y is the map. Okay, you press left trigger, you can control the camera. All right, left, I mean, LB and RB are for <laughs> strafing, and you press at the same time, you do the little quick turn shuffle. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. All right, and you turn the light out, enemies should have a harder time attacking you. Then we have like the enemies, like the nurses with the uh, guns in this. 10 shotgun shells. That's not very uh, comforting. All right, so we got two health drinks, three health kits. Oh, Lord. We are playing hard, huh? <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, we're back into it. You know, and I don't want to make it seem like I don't like the game. I do like the game, but playing on hard is stressful, and I think that's why I kind of haven't been too enthusiastic about playing it. But um, you know what? We're back. So let's get back into it. Enemies right outside? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, nothing. All right. So, um, it's been a while. It's been like a few weeks since I played this. So, I got to remember what the hell I was doing. In fact, let me look at my inventory again. So, I know like what type of uh, items I have. So, we got the gun, shotgun, the Uzi. They call it a submachine gun, but it's a Uzi where I'm from. Steel pipe. We don't use these. <laughs> we don't use these. Okay. Perfume. Okay. This is why I'm glad I checked because I remember that I had this. What could this possibly do? That's probably really important. Dad's notebook. I don't know why we still have these books. Pinned it. And the bulletproof vest, which is not equipped. Why do I have the sword equipped? I must have a death wish. Okay. All right. So let's check the map again. Um, so did I check this door over here? I must have really just... I remember... Hold up. Now something that just came to me. There was that door with the puzzle, right? And I think I had just solved it. There was that door with that puzzle. Was this it? Nah, because it was like a note there. And I was very proud of myself <laughs> for figuring it out. All right, so let's look around some. All right, what do we got going on here? This is the elevator. Might work. 
does work. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get right back off though. I just wanted to see if it was uh active. Uh all right, let's get back off. What's that other button do? Alright. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna wait, I don't think I can get over here. Yeah. Okay, that's why I didn't check that door over there. Alright. It's all coming back to me. It's just a matter of time. Um what was that door? Alright, so we checked the elevator. The elevator is active. Okay, so now we're gonna check over here. Should be fun times. It's locked. Wait a minute, didn't I? Was this the one? Nah, because I, I did that. What the fuck? I thought I did this puzzle. I could, I thought I did this puzzle. But there was like a message here telling me what to do. So, uh, all right, so maybe that was for another door and I have to get that passcode from somewhere else. I'm hoping, quite frankly, that's the case because uh, I, I have no idea. Let me check my memos real quick. Um, how do we get there again? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, memos. This is why you do not wait two weeks to play a game. <laughs> Stanley's diary. Oh yeah, Stanley was that stalker guy. Okay, it's all coming back to me. This is cool. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. Wait, what? You too? Hell no. Fuck that. Stanley's diary. Heather, my most sacred lover. I'm always watching you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, we haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single. Wait. The, is a key behind the thing. I got to go back down there. I don't want to go down. There. I bet it's terrible down there now. I don't want to go back down there. Oh, God. <laughs> I got to get my survival horror legs back under me. It's been too long, you know? Because I'm actually kind of spooked. <laughs> I don't want to go to the fucking basement. Ah. Okay. I probably got to get there from one. It's been too long, man. Normally, I'm like calloused to these kind of games for the most part. Right now, I'm properly spooked. Okay, so what? Oh my God. Where do we even begin? Probably that right there. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. All right. I think I know he's talking about though. That was a chef that even I thought looked suspicious, but I wasn't able to do anything with it. But I'm not sure if I already checked that or not. Maybe I already checked it. Oh boy, wheelchair. This game looks so good, man. Keep your fingers on the quick turn button, baby. Yeah, this right here. Streaks of blood as if something I dragged are continuing onto the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. All right, but I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Okay, so do we have a, a object? We need another uh, coat hanger, aka okay, abortion tool. No, we don't have anything of the sort. Damn, you can use that pipe. Okay, so I came out here for nothing. Great. Oh, nice C CRT TV. It's all just junk. Okay. Well, shit. What was this? The blood trails continue into the elevator. Probably wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. I hear somebody walking. 
That is so creepy. Oh God. <laughs> I'ma play Silent Hill 3 tonight. Right before bed. Wise idea, Marco. Wise idea. Okay, so I guess let's get back on the elevator. Yep, still dead. Okay, so where is the elevator? Right here. So the first 30 minutes of me playing this is probably going to be um, a bunch of <laughs> like fumbling around trying to figure out what the hell I got to do, basically. Let's just be real here. I waited a bit too long to play this again. Now I got to suffer through not knowing what the hell I got to do, which is fine, you know. That means I get to kind of relax a little bit. Not really, but, you know, I'm probably not in too much danger because I'm just, you know, treading over old territory. So, I couldn't go in here, right? This is locked. Yeah. So, we're back on the third floor. And I'm just going to make sure. All right. That's the save room. Special treatment room. I've already checked those. You can tell because the arrow is there. Um, as I think, and, and and yeah, I had already been to the roof because one thing I do remember is that the last thing I did on the roof was grab the ammo and run back and save. Yeah, I do remember that, so I think we're good as far as that. Um, maybe I'm thinking use this to go down to the second floor. And then look around there. It's probably some shit, some bad shit going on down. Some bad shit going on down there. Evidenced by that noise. Um, whatever the hell that was. Fingers on the quick turn button. Okay, and this was the puzzle I was talking about here. The first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third is smaller than the fourth, the fourth the top of the first. Yeah, we got that. And I think I figured it out, right? So I should be. I never figured this out. I did figure this out. I figured this out. I definitely figured this out. Did I not? Did I not figure this out? I could have sworn I figured this out, bro. Wait a minute. Let me think. Is it possible that I figured it out? But then was like, fuck it. Let me, <laughs> right? Like, did I, did I never figure this out? I had to have figured this out. I had to have figured this out. Hold up. Um, damn. Um, because I don't want to sit here and think for 30 minutes again. Um, you know what? I actually save all of my um, streams. So I'm going to actually look. I'm going to actually look and see. All right, so let me bring this up. File Explorer. I got to be careful. I don't want the porn to come up. Let me see. <laughs> we got to carefully tread through this. Okay, Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 3, 4. Okay. Um, open with. The, I'm literally bringing up an old fucking. Oh, that's me. Hey. Oh, I was so handsome that day. Oh, look at us struggling. So this is what I was doing that puzzle. This is this is so wise of me. Look at what I'm doing here. Look at me. Look, at, I'm deep in thought. Ah, uh, look at this guy. Okay, so I live. I but I believe I figured this out. Okay. This dude, I gotta get another one of those shirts too. It's a nice shirt. So here I was thinking about the puzzle, deep in thought. Did I? What was that? 
Oh, that's when I just got those bracelets. Cool shit. Okay. So I had I was writing it down. My alarm went off there. Damn, the, I thought it was five minutes. I was ready to put in five. Okay, that wasn't it. So I went back. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at me. Okay, so I was doing that. Don't tell me I never figured it out, bro. And that I got to figure it out now. Yeah, and so. I never figured it out. I never figured it out. I thought I figured it out. So you mean that tonight I'm gonna be sitting here trying to figure this shit out? Wait, I figured. I did figure it out. I thought it was five minutes. I got it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> Damn, I thought it was five minutes. I was ready to put in five. But why did why is it locked now? Why is it locked now? That's what's weird. I definitely unlocked it. All right, I gotta watch this. I gotta know why is it locked. Did I like load? I, maybe I loaded the game back up because I fucked something up and was like, I'll remember to put the key in the code back in. Fuck, dude. Okay. So I had a bad encounter here you know what? and I reset it. I just I can't I can't keep having all these bad all these bad encounters, bro. Like we gotta we gotta figure something out. We got um one of the things I mentioned in that thread, uh we saw quite a bit of it there. Part of the problem with melee in this game is that you're always hitting the fucking wall. Like that Eve can be as bad as it is. Fuck it. <laughs> it. Just get rid of it. I'm quite fresh. I'm tired of that shit. I'm so I ain't really killed my shit. I ain't really shit. Okay, I all right, so what happened was I unlocked it, had a bad encounter with the enemies and loaded the game back up. But never unlocked it again. I was down here trying to practice my melee. <laughs> And I was redoing, yeah, I was re, and I wasn't worried about it because I didn't make that much pro progress. It was only, uh, only a few things I needed to do, but I forgot that I needed to put that code back in and I never put. And I never put the code back in. Okay. And then I got the bullets and I, I called it a day. Okay. All right. I just, I had to, had to be sure there. <laughs> All right. So now we know what happened, but wait a minute. Damn. I got to get that code from the, from Pat, <laughs> from me, from the past. Hold up. <laughs> We're going to take you back to the past. I literally watched all that and didn't even take the damn code down. That's, oh my God. 
Okay. Oh, hood hoes. Don't go in that folder. Silent Hill 3. Okay. So let me get the code from me from the past. Because he figured it out. Um, okay. Where was it? I was so deep in thought. Look at me there. I got it, H. So what did I do? I'm pressing buttons? Oh my God, I could. Eight, six, three, four. Eight, six, three, four. Okay. Oh, uh, let me uh, actually get this off. Okay. Eight, six, three, four. Oh, uh, oh, uh, can you go away? All right, we're back. Eight, six, three, four. We got it. Hey! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually save <laughs> now that I got that unlocked. Um, am I next to a save or? Nah, it's actually up. It's actually up. Okay. Well, let's just go save real quick. That way, you know, the solution is now saved into the game. That was kind of interesting, but see, that's the value of saving all your shit. Right there, we saw it. We saw the value of, of keeping tabs, saving your streams. I went back and I was able to find out the fucking password and what, what went wrong there. But I don't know, I guess it's, uh, it's unlike me to be so careless though. Cause you know, I do some save scummy shit you know, like, oh, I have a bad encounter and then load it back up. You know, that's not nothing unusual that I would do. But usually I'm, I keep track of what I need to go back and do. And I think maybe I just didn't keep track of it. I don't know. Like, maybe it slipped my mind. Maybe I was planning to when I came back because I wasn't worried. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I was like, well, I'll just put the code in when I load it back up because I got it figured out. But then... It's like, where did I write it down at? I would have had to write it down. Or maybe I maybe I was thinking that it would be on stream and out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking to be honest, but my money is I it just slipped my mind. But usually I'm more thorough about shit like that. But whatever the case may be, we figured it out and now we can make our progress. So but this means that we actually gotta go through some shit. Um so Nurses should be right here, causing trouble. And one of them have a gun, I think, too. I'm not gonna worry about them for the time being. We're gonna just try to avoid them for now. There are medical textbooks on the shelf, but none of it looks useful for now. How about ever, Heather? There are papers scattered on the floor. Something's written on them, but none of them really seem to be important. Oh, what's this? There's our medical record here. Could this be for that this dead guy? Background unknown. Name, age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state. My bad. On hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 chief discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed corroded artery. Was grasping on kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was the cause of a neck wound. Possible suicide, but... Wound angle suspicious, sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact room in for. Yeah, very interesting stuff here. Okay, so... There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Let's check the hand. What's going on? Start the my key. 
The start time is my key. The start time is my key. The start time is my key. The start time. Let me check this again. All right. Um, angle. Oh, I don't see anything related to time there in the document. There's a man's corpse. All right. Anything written on his foot? You got a foot fetish, Heather? How, how come girls... Do girls have foot fetishes ever? <laughs> like, I don't know. Just a thought. Run. Ah, damn, bitch. She played whack-a-mole with my back. Oh, shit. They blasting. M4. Okay. Boom. That could be like a bomb or something. Um, let me read this. She hit the fuck out of me. There was a tattoo guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. What's going on? Can we turn this off? The start time. So what is that? One, uh, 30, wait, what is that? One, uh, 40, 45, so 130. What is that like 130? Oh, 130, 1, 2, 3, 133. No, no, no. Leave it on for now. Might end up fucking something up. You better be careful. The attache case is locked. The start time. 1.33. It's unlocked. I got an instant camera. There's nothing else interesting in the attache case. Okay. Well, I was a little worried. Maybe if I, if I turned it off prematurely I might activate some demonic shit so I had to be careful Oh, I, you know I think I'm gonna watch the Silent Hill movie this um, like for my Halloween weekend you know I always have like a little horror movie bonanza <laughs> you know for Halloween but we'll see how that goes um Oh, if I'm doing it like that, then yeah, I could come home and then boom. All right, I'll just think about something. Okay. All right, so we got to... I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Elevator button. Okay. Oh, fuck. They blasting. Can I get in here? The start time is my key. Wait a minute. Oh. How my how's my health looking actually? I did get hit pretty hard there. I got hit really hard. Yep. I took a bit of a beating there. Not a beating, but it was a hard whack, man. She said, "Bam!" Stupid bitch. All right. Do they eat jerky? I, I would. I don't imagine they into eating jerky. 
All right. Somebody's in here. Fuck. Whoa, shit, you stupid bitch. Where am I? They've taken over the whole neighborhood. Uh, stupid bitch. All right, I'm gonna go with the floor three. I wanna save because we got this camera. And I got hit, but it wasn't that bad. But I gotta do some risky shit, basically. So that's why I wanna save. So I can save scum my way out of it. It's a smart thing to do. Is this it? Is this what I'm looking for? It's a save room? Yeah. All right, so let's check out this instant camera real quick. See what's going on with that. Mm, there we go. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. I can't use that here. Man, fuck. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? I don't even, I can't even begin to even tell you what the hell I'm supposed to do with that damn thing. Like, I literally just have no clue. Um, damn, instant camera. What the hell would I do with an instant camera? Okay. Well, there was that other room with the three nurses, right? And I ran for my life. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back there and I'm gonna go in there with the shotgun and just be pumping motherfuckers. And if it's worthwhile, then we gotta figure out a way to get what's in there and get out without losing too much health or resources or whatever. But for the time being, we're probably just gonna take the, again, it's just gonna be a risk, basically. It's gonna be a risk. Okay. Oh, she missed. Okay. All right. So, oh, God. And one of them got a gun, too. My nurse is trying to kill me. Oh, bang. You stupid bitch. Okay. Stump them hoes. Bitch better have my money. She got a gun. Don't play with that bitch. Oh, shit. All right, so. Two. Damn, flinch, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Get rid of her. Okay. All right. So what's going on here? <laughs> I'm pretty fucked up. I think we just got the two um, first aid kids. All right. So we got a mission now. <laughs> we got to do this. So what we got to do is we got to get in here, get these without getting hit very much basically so we're gonna reset you know this ain't the most glamorous way to play i know but you know we playing on hard we ain't playing on buddy buddy cream puff mode i might need those first aid kits later so we're gonna try to get them and get out get them and get out that's the goal but maybe we can lay some groundwork first. Like, if I can kill that nurse that's right outside the save room, right? Like, that'll just make things a little... Because that's... I don't like her being there, to be honest. If we can get rid of her, that'll be cool. Maybe that's where we start. But, yeah, this, this is going to be a whole mission, bro. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> like getting those two fucking health kits is gonna be a whole quest, bro. I want to listen to the Quest sixty four soundtrack now. You know what I'm playing? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei. I be listening to, like video game soundtracks and shit. It's the only way I can get through the grinding and shit. 
fucking. I think I'm listening to Quest 64 soundtrack next. That'd be cool. Wait a minute. What did where she go? Am I tripping or did I just download the wrong one? No, I didn't. I got the. Oh no, she's not here. She's upstairs. Okay, I'm tripping. All right. I thought I thought she was right outside the save room. That's what I was thinking. Nah, she's up actually up here. Still kind of in the way though. I, like if we can get rid of her, you know, like that'll be cool. Um. But, you know, you just got to be careful with this shit. Let me put on the bulletproof vest and see if we can, like, destroy her without getting messed up too bad. Whoa. Woo. I almost had a damn heart attack. I went too high up. I meant to go down. <laughs> I was, <laughs> you know, when you, when you know what's coming is one thing. But, man, I just, I go, I go out and I see goddamn giant. Silent Hill demons and shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, uh, my heart skipped the beat there. Oh, it's two of them. Oh, hell no. Oh, and one of them got a gun. I ain't. Oh, hell no. That ain't part of the mission right there. <laughs> Tell you that right now. That ain't part of the mission, baby. Oh yeah, I gotta remember too to take my um flashlight off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck. You know how it is. Fuck. I don't know if that's worth it. Let me see. Fuck! No, it's not worth it. I ran to the fucking wall. Oh, my God. Like, I would have took that hit. I would have took that one hit that I got going in there. I would have took it. But the gunshot, nah, that was, that was overkill. So, we got to try again. The gunshot was too much. That was too much damage. So I can't fuck with that. Damn, we were close. I ran. I have ran into the goddamn wall, bro. I swear. Ran into the fucking wall. Just gave the bitch ample time to just shoot me in the fucking chest. Stupid, 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 stupid. I kind of because the, the thing is, if I can, if I can get in and get out, and get hit once or something like that. It's kind of worth it because you still you you still getting a first aid kit overall. I don't need both necessarily. You know, if I can if I can take one, use one, that's still one up, right? That's why I say this is a worthwhile mission here. Take one, use one. But if you end up having to use both of them at the end of the day after getting them, then you're just wasting your goddamn time. Let's go ahead. Let's try again. Shit. Let's try this again. Then I got to come back and run past those two bitches, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Okay, so it's going to be two here. But that's not too bad because you get right there. And, yeah. Okay, skip that bitch. Oh, man. Did I get some? I went through the wrong door, too. Did I get some fucking eye frames? Fuck. Okay. 
Oh, that was close. That was close. I think I did it. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck you, bitches. Suck my dang lang. <laughs> All right. Me, I, was, I would call that a success. We got hit like one time, so... We got hit one time for two first aid kits. I'll take it. Let's save that up. See, these are hard mode strategies. This is what I call hard mode strategies right here. The hard mode goofball strat. All right, so we saved up. Now, I have no idea what to do. Because we checked, went to the second floor. I don't know why she marked that. So we checked all those. Couldn't get there. Yeah, M4. Now we got the camera. But what could that camera be for? I really have no clue. It's an instant camera. Let's check it out one more time. Oops. I got to get used to this button layout. Oh, we're in yellow again, too. Um, We'll ride that way for now, though. Combine. Um, I can't imagine anything you combine it with, though. You can see the developed photos right away. You can see. I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. Like, seriously, what the hell? Maybe, um, it's something back here, though. Maybe. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement. Special treatment room. There's something handwritten. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This was, looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Okay. I don't know. Maybe like I got to take a picture or something in here. I don't know. Like This room just got me thinking. Is that a suicide belt? No, well, we gotta figure out what the hell to do with this damn camera. My lord. Like, this could be for anything. I don't know, this, doesn't this look kind of like important? Like right here? Uh, it looks kind of, no, uh, but. Yeah. All right, well, we can check that off the list, so it's not there. Wait, what was that button on the side there? I'm there is that code that I got to put in, though. There is that code. So we, we do have that. Um, where are we on the third floor? Is locked. Okay. What if the instant camera is used here? I guess I was hoping and coping, right? Hoping and coping. <laughs> nah. Um, is it the same code? Eight, six, three. Four. It's not the same code. <laughs> it's not the same code. Okay, so it's not the same code. I mean, you gotta admit, you know, worthwhile shot. In a survival horror game, though, it wouldn't work. In real life, yeah, you probably got, you know, one fucking password for a lot of different doors. X can't get in there all right and then we got the elevator okay well let's go down to the first floor let's go down to the first floor see what's popping down there i hate that noise 
In fact, I'm gonna go to the basement. <laughs> Famous last words, right? I'm gonna go down to the basement. I'm actually in the middle of watching um, Tales from the Crypt, the original 1972 one. It's all right. It's kind of, you know, corny, to be honest. I guess they must be in that elevator. Wait a minute. What if I, ooh, what if I take a picture here? Yo, think about it. Now, I was hoping and coping again. Hoping and coping. That's what I do. Yeah, you know, it's it's all right, but it's like it's kind of like that little like corny safe horror. You know, it ain't nothing like intense or nothing like that. I guess Tales from the Crypt would take a while to really get good, basically. Like that one Tales from the Crypt movie, what's it called? Hell Knight or Demon Knight or whatever? With Jada Pinkett Jada Pinkett Smith. My God. Oh, I can. So it's written back there. I see. I was thinking, yeah, I, four, two, seven, three. So I, I was thinking like a key or something you would grab. But, um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold up. I had no idea my shit was just like not moving or doing anything at all. Great. When did this happen? Fuck. Okay. Um, the shit just, because I didn't see nothing moving here. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. If that's, if it's working, shit. <laughs> yeah, I looked at the screen and it was like the little loading thing. So I was worried that maybe it wasn't. I wasn't streaming, but maybe it was my laptop that I was watching it on. Hopefully that wasn't a big issue. My God. All right. So we got the code though. I got to pay closer attention to my screen over here. This is like, well, I kind of, what I prefer about like recording my playthrough versus streaming it because with streaming, you have those little like, stream hiccups and shit and it can fuck up like you know your playthrough as far as like re-uploading re it to like YouTube and whatnot. like in Silent Hill 2 there's like a minute missing of a important cutscene because of that not thrilled about that at all but you know just one of those things I'll just pay closer attention though hopefully that was just more so on my laptop because that laptop is shitty But yeah, I had actually, I went back and I watched the, um, that Tales from the Crypt movie with Jada Pinkett Smith. That is actually really good. That's probably my favorite one, I think, of the, the Tales from the Crypt movies. Since I got the code, I'll go ahead and just save here. But yeah, I'm watching the old one right now. And like I said, it's like, it's like safe horror, right? Where it's just, it's not very like bloody or intense or nothing like that, you know? It's kind of like that thing where they're telling stories of the demise of wicked people and whatnot. Right? Which is, to me, a definitely a safe horror thing, right? Where you make all the victims like bad people so you don't have to care about them. <laughs> what was the code? It's probably on the, my memo, right? Oh, boy, I'm yellow. All right, it's still up. All right, Marco, make sure you pay attention to the stream. Memos. Photo. Wait a minute. Backside of shelf. Okay. 4273. 4273. Oh, two. Seven, three. Okay. All right, no enemies so far. The lock is broken. Lock is broken. 
Well, let's start the long road of checking every door. S1, fingers on the quick turn button, always. Oh, what's this? It's just, it's a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching to spare Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind this false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Tim, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking round concrete tower, which appears to be. Why is this in the fucking gossip magazine, which appears to be part of their facilities? Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers prevent belief that they are among the elite chosen people, has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the occult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Well, he seems like a cool guy. I agree with his message. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. What's this? Sipping on some health drink. What's this? Tissue and an alarm, alarm clock. Huh? The clock's broken, but otherwise, no big deal. You know what I think of when I see tissue in a room like this? I still can't quite get these buttons right. Oh, wait a minute. The game just froze. Yeah, we haven't got one of those errors in a while. That was more common, like, back when I was playing Silent Hill 1. But I'm still figuring out this whole streaming thing, so... Shit happens, basically. We just work our way around it. Like, 417. So this was, I think, um... Let me see. Right after I got the code... Yeah, so, I, yeah, I ain't, I ain't really do shit, so... Ain't no big deal. I went up and I saved... Luckily, I say very often, so crisis averted, right? Um, okay, and so we just got to get this back. Okay, and it should be in my memo, my memo book. Um, yeah, 4273, all right. Yep, I apologize about that. Looks like I got some editing to do. 4273. All right. 4273. And then, all right, let's... <laughs> Let's do everything that we already did, right? And so we came in here. Let me read this all over again. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sipping on some health drink. One of the stories in the uh, Tales of the Crypt movie I'm watching, um, the husband and wife, they had like this like Chinese statue that grant granted wishes and the wife like she wished for a lot of money and then it was like yeah okay and then her husband died and it was tied with the wish because he had a big insurance policy 
on his life. You know, th that whole thing isn't really original, though. You know, the whole idea of being able to get your wishes granted, but then it not turning out the way you want. I guess with shit like that, you got to be very specific. Like, I want a million dollars. Damn, like, nah, like, because... Cause I was thinking like a million dollars delivered in the briefcase, but then it's like the million dollars was stolen from a bank and you're going to get framed for it. <laughs> you got it. That's why I say I'd be like so stupid specific, right? Like, in fact, you better write like a whole page out for the wish just to cover like any, anything that could go wrong. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me. Because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world, a world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I see you, the day you save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I love you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... But, buddy. Okay. I want that bottle over there, but yeah, I guess it ain't for me. Okay. Oh my God, the horror. Oh shit. You stupid bitch. Okay. All right. I did get hit there. Um, should we health drink that up or use a let's health drink? Yeah. Pick up the phone. I wonder who it could be. Is it Stanley? Is it Leonard? Who the hell could be calling now? No, I'm not. Yo, 